Ah, salut everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2, A Heart of Darkness, where it's finally come, everyone. The great moment of my master plan for getting the last and final great war between me, between the Germans, the French, the Russians, and the Italians. So, what is this great idea that I've been thinking of? Well, I'm going to, like I said, this is going to be the war where I'll split up everyone. I'll split up the Germans. And I'll split up the Ottomans. So how am I going to do that? Well, first off, I'm going to decrease my relationship with the Ottomans. Okay? This is just standard. So just because we need to do that before we can actually do a war goal. Because they're allied with both... Shindoism. Shindoism. Okay? Okay, and yeah, that event failed. And... Poland. Trouble is brewing again. And if you guys are wondering, why is it another trouble brewing? I thought we already dealt with one. Um, basically, what happened was I forgot forgot to save, and I'm having to go back through this. So, sorry about that. Very sorry about that, but um, there's not much I can really do about it. So, and we didn't really go back that much. We just went back by about five months, and as you guys know, nothing's really been happening in the past, like, year. So, but this is actually important, so I will definitely save it here. What we're going to do is, we're going to get the least amount of thing that costs the least amount of points, so, release a puppet. Okay, so release a puppet is going to be the least. Um, dismantle fortifications, free people. Okay, yeah, we'll do release a puppet. And I get you guys are wondering, why am I not doing, like, a major one? There's a reason. Because, um, what I basically... Okay, you know what? Take out this anti gov take out this anti liberal government. I'm tired of it. Oh. Oh wait, why can't we take out these guys? Because it is it is Inbell's William Paul is in the middle of an election. Ah oh, shoot, we're in the middle of an election. Okay, well anyways I was gonna have, like switch stuff, but just do whatever you want. I don't really care, because I'm just gonna switch the party anyways from what you guys ever do. Well, anyways, we're going to get the least amount of infamy for this because what we're going to do is we're trying to go and incite a great war. So what we need is is as many alliances as we can. We need to make sure we don't take as much infamy because if I'm going to split up as many regions as I can, I'm going to need the least amount of infamy. So, um, I'm going to wait about a long, a long, long time. You know, maybe it would have been quicker to do the uh, other one, but I wasn't feeling particularly in the mood. Okay, got this, anti-military, pro-military, Jindoism. And, yeah, we just have to wait for a second, and somehow, somehow the Ottomans have become a second-day power again, which, you know, granted for them, they've actually done a pretty good job in this Let's Play, like, they moved up from being a really lower power, you know, they were a great power, and then, we kind of knocked them down a little bit, and then somehow they're actually kind of falling back, but, you know, we're going to have to destroy that confidence that they have right now in the Empire. I just hope that we can get this infamy without any more distractions. Ah, uh, man. So, yeah, that's basically what we're going to do, and um, one thing I did do that was kind of different than my last time is that I did increase a lot of my fort levels, I mean, a lot of my um, naval fort levels to War Jindo. And that's because um, I realized that all my ships, even though they are way more advanced than most other navies, they're only about 37, 45, they are not fully manned or fully strength. And so I was like, oh shoot, this could be a real big problem if I ever went to a battle, because think about it, you know, just the weakest of ships could like take me on. So, you know, I'm trying to extend all my currently made factories to like order this, but I'm not sure if they'll ever be able to do it. And right now, a fascist march! Outlaw the preliminary organization, seriously. I will not allow the fascists to march on me. And once I'm allowed to, I'm going to switch my government because this anti... Anti-gating this causes belly is not going to help us. So roughly 90 days until... So once that will happen, then what we will do is we'll declare war on the Ottomans and I'm assuming the Germans are going to join in. And then I'm assuming that with the Germans, the... The Swedes are going to join in, which means that with both those guys in, this will become a great war, because I doubt my, ally my allies are probably going to join in with me, because I don't have high infamy. So this will be the Great War. And they're apparently trying to fight me. 
That's good. It's always good to have a little bit of fighting in them. You know, I'm glad the UK is still... Tr no, not the UK. The Great British are still trying to do something. Even though I've basically destroyed them and made them a former shell of what they are. Okay. Set the way for this war justification. 30 more days. I'm just going to go into this mode because this helps speed up days faster. Okay. And we're still making lots of money. Dig deep and greedy. Okay, now we're done with the elections. Okay. Now I'm going to get the uh drought nationalist in power gives me full power of jinderism okay still not enough to do anything and as you can see my economy is starting to collapse don't really mind though okay gonna do that going to open up all my factories okay and we just have a couple more days i'm getting ready for this war i'm seriously ready for this war Okay, I'm going to move all my horsemen that were recently made right over here to the border. And if not, if the Germans do not enter this war, then this is going to probably be a backfire because we really do. This is what we basically need. We need them to be in, we need them to enter this war. So release puppet Moldavia. Okay, get as many allies as we can. So let's see. USA maybe, likely. Japan, likely. Okay, that's all we need. We just need one person to join in. So let's see. Did I do it? Yes. Okay. Great, not surprised, not surprised, not surprised, not surprised, not surprised, not surprised. Yes! Treacherous. Okay, the United States can stay out or stay neutral for this. Yes! Okay. So, everyone, now we got what I wanted. The third and final Great War. So, let's see the sides. We have the French versus this kind of middle lines it's, it's almost reminiscent of actually the first great war but except Sweden's actually in the war which usually never happens Sweden's usually never in a war so let's see um yeah okay so let's see our battle strategy well you know I said you know I said I'd make a battle strategy for this and you know what I will so I'm gonna take a couple minutes off screen and just make a battle strategy so I'll be right back all right, everyone, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Boom! My most detailed map ever. So, this is the plan. I'm going to, as I've learned from the past wars, I'm going to let the Germans tire themselves out on my main line right about here. I'm going to let them throw as many men as they can at me to try to do that. And I'm going to let the Polish and the Russians try to go in and conquer as much as they can. Um, and basically when they, when the Germans tie out, I'm going to move in and basically take all of this and split the Germans up. This is the final product of what I want the Germans to look like. I don't know how I'm about, I'm about to do that or how I'm exactly going to do that, what nations I need to make, but I'm going to do this. I'm done. I'm seriously done. The Germans have now, have now made me angry to the point where I need that. Okay, so that's going to be kind of my war front. Now, sadly, I can't control the actions. Wait, could I control the actions? Well, maybe I can. Maybe I control the armies of both the Polish and everyone. Because I want them to basically go in and go destroy all of these armies over here. Um, and try to defend their land as best they can. I'm not sure if they can, though, because the Germans do will have a mighty force. So, I'm pretty sure they're going to lose probably this much of the land before, you know, the Russians and the Polish will be able to stop them. And I'm pretty sure the Russians will not be able to stop the Swedish. Because the Swedish have been a major power for a very long time. So, you know, that's going to have to be dealt with. But eventually, I think we'll be able to do a counterattack in those two regions, and I think the Polish will eventually come back so that we can crush the Germans. Especially since the Germans are probably going to be concentrating on me. That'll be good. Okay, in the Ottoman front, uh, for the most of the time, I'm just going to be moving my little one troop over here to go conquer all this and this. And then I'm hoping the Italians will have some trouble with the actual main Ottoman force, but I think in the, the Italians will be able to push ahead and be able to take all the Ottomans. And at that point, I'm hoping to have my own little transport to go in and go take down Istanbul. Um, I probably won't be able to go in and go free French Asia. Because French Asia, I'm just not going to protect. It's going to be conquered. I know it for a fact. So, we're just going to have to deal with that. And with my Swedish plan... Um, yeah, I thought I actually had my Swedish plan. I'm just going to have to hope that the Russians are going to have to be on top of it. Because, um, basically, the Russians are the ones that are going to have to... Are going to... Oh, are gonna have to be the main instigators of the Swedish front. 
Cause I'm gonna be tied down with my with my army with the not the Russians, but the what is it called? The Germans. Yes, those are the names. I can't believe I got the Germans' names. Okay, there. That looks kind of cool. Okay, so save. I have to save. Uh, let's save it right over here. Save it, yeah, save it over the old one. Okay, so there. Now that we finally have our plan, which is actually kind of distracting, so I'll kind of put it away. But now that we have our plan, let's actually get to the real, legit war. So, um, something that I forgot to do last episode, good job, James, is I forgot to mobilize. Well, I'm even sure this is going to be episode, because I'm probably just going to release this all in a set. So now it's time to do that, and I'm going to have to decrease relations by a lot. So I want to make sure I pay attention to every little detail. So... The first little battles between us and them are going pretty good. Um, the first little battles between us and the... Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to win that. But let's see. How do we match up against the German might? We're going to find out. Okay, we are destroying the Germans. We're killing them 2 to 1 compared to our ratio, which is pretty good. Um, I'm going to try to do a little bit of conquesting in here. Um, the Germans, I think, are going to push up most of their line against the Polish. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're probably going to get most of their line against the Polish. And the Polish, sadly, aren't that strong. And neither are the Germans. But the Italians, on the other hand, they're really where I'm hoping will shine in this war. And, oh yeah, I forgot that, that I got an alliance with Serbia. So Serbia is probably going to be... I'm hoping they will probably get some of their war goals into this. And... Right now, right now, yes, the Italians are moving in. We are crushing. The Germans are trying to, like, cover up, but I'm trying to quickly move in as quickly as possible because we have to crush these guys as fast as we can. We want to make sure that the Germans are no more. We want to make sure that they're all dead before anything ever happens. So, um, most of them, most of the, most of the, most of the reasons why we're going to do this is because, one, they became fascists. And for most of us, that's not really a big deal, but come on. Why would they become fascists? Except for the fact that maybe they're evil now? Ah, oh, dang, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so apparently the Germans beat me in one of our regions. That was not good to me. I'm gonna go send them... Ah, oh, dang it. Go do a counterattack. I wasn't paying attention enough. We're still winning in the rest of them. And... I'm losing a lot of men here, but I'm killing a lot, too, at the same time. Bring in our other big force. That should distract them, and... Yeah, they're trying to defeat some of my armies. Um, I have a good-sized army right here, so I can already move... I'll move my good tank brigades to go block up these guys. Um, me and the Italians are doing a strong, strong attack with our with our lower flanks to try to break the Germans um right now the Germans are kinda of breaking the Italians so hoping the Italians will actually deploy and not really Ita Italy you really think you're gonna win no you have to deploy your full army otherwise the Ottomans are gonna completely destroy you okay and then my army over here I'm gonna go deal with that Portugal is doing their job um that's cool Portugal it's pretty cool right now. Um, yep, as I expected, the Germans are completely crushing the entire Polish line. My line, I'm supporting all my men to the max, and I'm going to be suffering for this in the end. But I'm not going to let the Germans beat me in any of this. This is the final war, and I need to make sure we win this. Okay, 9.8, the Battle of Kazakh. Okay. And we just won another major battle. Chase them down. Yeah, chase that, chase those guys down. We're going to be moving in all of our men to make sure that maybe we can, like, stop some of the Germans' advances. And since all the vassals are mostly conquered of the Germans, we don't have to worry about little states getting in the way, which... You know, we're kind of an advantage at some points, but we're kind of more of a hindrance towards our war effort last time. 
because they were kind of annoying. In a sense, they were kind of annoying. And I'm honestly not letting the Germans regroup, which is good and bad. That means I'm probably going to take nutrition much heavier than they are. And since the Italians are being little jerks and not deploying fully, seriously, why are you not deploying fully? Okay, can I take control of the... Oh, that's stupid. That's just stupid right there. I cannot take control of the entire Polish army, which I'd probably lead it to go do better things. And um, Russia is not de-deploying any of its men. Seriously? Are you guys are you guys seriously relying on the fact that I have a bigger oh, you idiots. Okay, so I guess basically all my the other great powers in this war are basically relying on my great war effort to win the war. It's not gonna help. You guys are gonna die if you rely on it. Because I have lost against the Germans before, don't get me wrong. Oh wait, no I haven't. No, that's been in other, that's been in like some other campaigns of the friends I've done. In this campaign, I have not lost once the Germans. So yeah, maybe you guys should be a little bit cocky, but still, we still have to make sure we don't get too overconfident. Because we have major German troops. Okay, so we won a couple big battles. Um, we're now taking down the heavily fortified German forts, which will probably take the most of our time because they are, well, the most heavily fortified. As the name implies, they're the most heavily fortified, so that means we're probably going to take the most time. And we're probably going to have to destroy the, more, the most of the Germans. Okay. We got most of our line protected. We got a couple men over here. And we got some of the Scars. The Scars are starting to help us out. Okay, we got a hundred... Holy shoot. We got a hundred men coming at us from the side. I'm hoping they engage. Okay. Now that they've engaged, time to move 63 of my men to go over here. Go help them out. That should tip the scale into our favor. And the Battle of Shintwig. That's not the right battle. Um, over here, we are desperately losing. I don't know how we lost that badly. Probably because I couldn't, yeah, probably because I couldn't, like, get any men over there. Well, I'll just keep some men right here to make sure that we have some protection. Um, a couple of these German flanks are starting to, are starting to, like, annihilate us. But I'm annihilating them back. The Italians are really just half, I'm really getting annoyed that they're not deploying the full amount of forces. Because they could definitely be helping annihilate this entire army, but the not. Which makes this kind of a little bit difficult. But the good thing is, is that we are moving in pretty quickly. More quickly than I thought we would, because um, I thought this was going to take a really long time to, like, deploy and do everything. I mean, the Germans are, by no stretch of imagination, probably done. We're just defeating them really quick. That's the only thing I have to comment about this whole entire situation. Is that we're defeating them pretty quick. Okay, go right here. But that's also because maybe uh, the army is mostly concentrated over here. And we're basically pushing through the uh, weak side of the Germans. Okay, I'm going to send in half of my men to go help this battle over here. Which is not exactly... I don't know how we're losing this badly, but we are. And we're about to win this right here, so I'm just going to move my good old-fashioned tanks to go help. And this just smashed the army right here. Yeah! We're winning now, I think. No, not in terms of strength. And now we just have a weak flank right here. And just two tanks right here just awkwardly standing there, not really doing anything. Um, I'll go combine them with some soldiers from over here. Um... Okay, where do we have some big men? I'm gonna go push these guys over here. Um, dang. Okay, so... Germans are now definitely starting to push back. And... We're winning the vast majority of our battles. But the Italians are not guarding their flank, which is annoying me. Because they should be trying to, like, guard and keep all the land. Instead of having me to, like, help them out. Which is, you know, I guess a good thing. I guess it's good that they know that I'm the more powerful person here. Okay, I'm gonna go send 13 of you guys to go help. Ah, dang, they got through some of our lines. Okay, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go back into our land. Hmm. Okay, they're engaging us in a couple of big battles. We won the Battle of Tongan. Okay. 
I'm going to go, since this is way too big of a force, and this will definitely take nutrition, that's what we don't need. I'm definitely going to divide it. Um, divide it up even more. You guys go right here. We have to, we're starting to crush the German army, but we have to make sure we don't get overconfident in it. And we're crushing the Germans. Because the Germans definitely could turn the tide at any point in this war. This is definitely not an end of war. I mean, it's not the end of the war yet. But, um, the Scottish seem to be han handling themselves pretty good in there. Whatever, this guy goes bankrupt. These guys, Scottish is apparently handling themselves pretty good. Um, we, on the other hand, I'm not sure how we're doing. Oh, wow. As the Forward States, we're winning this front, but the Western Front... Okay, the Polish got out of the war, I think. No, they're still in the war, but... Uh, that's really where they may the Germans may get the most war score out of anything is if they get yep Mainly battles and occupation. It's probably because of the Russians and the uh, yeah, the Russians stink uh, I don't know why I included them um, The Americans will you guys get me an alliance again? It will accept maybe we could get the, the USA in on this after all Le temps de Gazette de France I mean Okay, okay, the United States accepted our alliance. Maybe we can get them in on it after all. Because if the United States are in on it, then we know we'll have a good amount of support units. And maybe then people will start realizing that this isn't supposed to be a war. You're supposed to just win by just sitting around. I need my... I need the maximum amount of French soldiers I can get. So let me go help these guys. Try to go help these guys anyways. Okay, that's good. Move in right there. Man, we're, we're creating so many holes in our lines. And sadly, the Germans know how to exploit that. And, ah. Uh, it seems like I was wrong. It seems like the... Yeah, this is mostly full of royal guards. It seems like the uh, Scottish are having a little bit of trouble now. Um, I'm also seeing that the Germans are going to try to do a Blitzenkrieg on me. Luckily, I still have soldiers over there guarding my rear just in case if that would have happened um, I'm moving in as many soldiers as I can with suffering much I can tell you that right now um, Wow victory though we are winning the most majority of the battles we are definitely not winning this war like right right here we're gonna have to retreat ah okay I see a hole in our line already and the Germans are fully... Holy shoot! How much do I have fully deployed? Um, 666. How much do the Germans have fully deployed? Okay. Okay, they have apparently less than me, but it seems like they have more. Oh shoot, I just lost a battle. So, apparently I just lost a battle by accident. That was totally by accident. Um, I'm gonna go send these guys to go. Okay. Um, yeah, the Germans are definitely causing problems, and I'm just going to, instead of trying to deal with it and trying to like justify and try to guard every single region, I'm just going to uh, retreat. And basically, I'm just gonna say this: if the Italians aren't gonna get their butts in gear, I'm not gonna help in many of the battles. Okay, the Battle of Um turned against us. Um. Probably because it was on the border. Okay, I'm just going to... Um... Yeah, we need... I, the, the Italians need to seriously deploy their full might. Because I'm not going to be able to fight the Germans alone. It says I have double their forces, but I highly doubt that. Okay. I'm just going to just slow down my conquest just a little bit. Um, divide my men a little bit better. So that they're not taking nutrition. Um, send some of these guys to go start winning some of these battles. Um, we could actually win this battle right here. We don't need to keep in defensive mode. Um, over here we'll keep in defensive mode. How are we doing over here in Poland? Poland's basically conquered. So is Russia. So, at the end of this war, we gotta remember that there's gonna be this whole big flood of German soldiers coming in. And, in terms of fighting, we lost to the Ottomans. For heaven's sakes, I don't know 
You know, at the end of the day, I did not understand this new combat system because I did the best. It seems like it does not matter that you have the biggest army or you have the most technological advanced army. It seems like this entire game, there was some new kind of weird system that I never understood because the Ottomans, by far, are not the best people in this game, and they would not have anywhere near gas attack capabilities, so I don't know where they got... I don't know. Okay, so we have a much... As I retreated, I see the Germans starting to gain more ground. Um, I had to do that. I had to retreat just a little bit just so I could see where my enemies are. I'm going to try to do some surrounding over here so we can gain some more so we can isolate these battles over here basically okay and anyone taking nutrition well that's healthy nutrition right there and you guys aren't taking nutrition wow okay well you guys I'll have some of you guys go help the uh, German army okay at least the Italians a little bit and we have no holes in our army except for right here. But we're closing that one up. Uh. And yeah, it seems for generally the Western Front is stable. Enough to say that we are winning this by a lot. Um, okay, we can move this up just a little bit. Um, we can move this right here. Could we move this up? I'm not sure with that stupid force. Well, we could probably be force. Um. Yeah, we can. I'm. I'm deciding we can. We can move that up. Okay. Yeah, we can. It spreads out the front a little bit better. I'm not taking any chances with this German line. Well. I'm not gonna try, cause I'm not gonna try to like leave any holes, because if you leave any holes in this line, they basically come in and kill you. And there's apparently a spouse starting to turn against us, so I'll send in some of my royal guards, come help it. Um, the Germans are starting to push back pretty hard, and they're using, I hate this advantage, they're using their advantage with the uh, Netherlands to gain optimal speed. Um, I have no one over there in the Netherlands, shoot. Um, no one over there in the Netherlands to go fight. Let me go get that. How much are we deployed? Only about 45%. So we still got another good percent. And the Germans are mostly using their army over here. That's good. The Italians still not deployed. I will lose this war. I guarantee it by that stupid decision of the Italians to be stupid and not deploy. Okay, I'm going to move my soldiers back over here to make sure that we have a... Uh, good counteracting line over here we're starting to like we're starting to collapse the heart of fortresses which does make this war which does make which eh, which makes the war much easier to win because once you collapse like really really hard fortresses then the easier fortresses well they become easy and I'm making sure that I have my soldiers ready for any type of engagement on this front um yep the Germans yep they use that advance to the ends of taking Netherlands basically trying to surround my army um, and I'm just gonna wait until a good amount of them group up again because I'm gonna okay go attack okay and now those guys are trying to go send there okay we got some more Germans right over there retreat block them off okay next go right there go engage those Germans um send about these guys to go all the way over here go help these guys yeah break these guys while you're at it and then you guys since you guys are completely blocked off you guys can go up there too um mm -hmm. the battle of Hembun okay that's good we won that battle um, we're still sticking to our guns and just trying to make sure that we move in smartly. We don't want to completely overexhaust our people. Because this is going to be a big gigantic line. If we ever get back, if we ever get to that, we'll, this is going to be a big gigantic line. I'm not sure if our people will be able to support every single one of those. Okay, so let's see. We can try to decide where should we move in. Um, 
Good news, we almost got this entire front in the back done with, so I'm going to just slide my men, send in more of our men to go strengthen our position over there. These guys I don't think will be able to do anything. So without further ado, I think I'll move in right there, move in right there. You guys are pretty stable. If I move in right there and I've moved these guys right there, I should be able to cover a good amount of land. Right here I can go send in more men, because it's probably going to take a little bit before I can get more men over there to go help defend. There we go. There we go. Now we got enough soldiers defending the land and keeping it well lit. And I better save it right now. So, at this point I think this is a good time for episode, so I'll see you guys next time.